halal is not just simply to perform the dhabiha, but the halal concept means the whole interaction with the environment. So we were probably the first truly halal farm in the UK. In the United Kingdom, the halal phenomenon is not solely a religious issue. It has now become an urgent need for the Muslims who are increasing over the years. There are halal organic farmers in Bletchington, Oxfordshire. Lutfi is a mix of Egyptian English parentage and is married to Ruby Radwan, a Pakistani. As a result of their marriage, they are blessed with four children. They have three boys and a girl. The family is brought up in the Islamic upbringing, which is the pillar of a harmonious life, although they live far from Initially ourselves we stopped eating halal meat because a lot of the halal meat in England is not very good quality and we became vegetarian for a short while. Then I became friends with a local farmer who allowed me to kill the meat on his farm so I used to kill for our own family our own meat uh, and from that we decided maybe this is something we could do as a, a family business and we started to think about it and we looked for land and eventually we bought Willowbrook Farm, which is the farm we're now on, and we became the first Muslim farmers concentrating on rearing good quality. is a modern by the said body. Lutfi has two workers and the rest of the work is done by the family members. The small number of workers does not indicate that he cannot afford to employ more workers, but it is to take care of the integrity of the halal products chain that he runs. Basically, he emphasized that the workers must be Muslims, especially in the animal slaughtering process. An organic farm management has to have control towards the environmental effects and its usage of natural substances. The purpose of it is to maintain the quality of the livestock and to avoid environmental pollution. In addition to that, I think it's important to know what that means in practice. 
and I felt very much that my children needed to grow up understanding the relationship with nature um, and through nature that relationship with Allah. So for me, uh, I take there's a hadith of the Prophet وسلم, where he said that adinu mu'amala, that religion is social interaction. Other than having served as a lecturer, Lutfi also has had the experience as a mapping officer and rural development consultant. It has given him a lot of benefits in managing the farm. In the month of June, in conjunction with the bank's public holiday in the United Kingdom, Lutfi and his family had organized a farm's open day. He invited the public to see for themselves the concept of an organic farm and the halal practice that it applied from the start of the farm till the slaughtering process. And in addition, we make the farm available for Muslim groups or families to visit. And there they can see and learn um, a lot more about the environment, which is fundamental because the environment was placed there by Allah for us to be the guardians, the, the Khalifa. Um, so I think we play an important role in education. And that's something that over the years we want to increase by having school visits and activities on the farm to teach people that halal is not just simply to perform the dhabiha, but the halal concept means the whole interaction with the environment and the protection of the environment. Of existing woodland, but I'll take you on a, a walk around. But now you the visitors gained new experience by visiting this farm. Other than inoculating, was the value of appreciating the treasures of nature. The halal products that are produced in this farm are also served to the visitors. It is one of the marketing strategies to introduce quality halal products to the community. In Britain, uh, there are very few, two or three farms that provide halal organic sort of meat. And I think what, what Brother Lutfi is doing here is fantastic. Um, it's um, it's a great benefit to the community in terms of the halal or tayyib meat that, that, that there is, um, so from chicken to lamb and everything. But also the fact that um, having a farm run by a Muslim family in Britain, in modern Britain especially, um, it's fantastic. It just allows you to connect with a, you know, a sea house. How um, uh, families, Muslim families, connect with the, with the nature. If it's useful, it's actually going to go out in Malaysian teeth. <laughs> the good treatment and friendliness reflects Lutfi's high morality. Whatever he does is to fulfill the responsibility as a Muslim, and most importantly, is that his efforts are to please Allah. Oh, yes, please do that. Uh, so alhamdulillah, Allah has been very kind to us to allow us to do this because you can see the difficult side, I'm sure you've seen that, seeing how difficult it is to establish a farm and the hard work. But on the good side, it allows him to be there and the children to have, you know, the male um, figure around when they need. Lutfi's farm concept, which is based on the Halalan Toiba, is still in the introductory level in the United Kingdom. It has not been widely introduced to the farmers as the majority of them are non-Muslims. Active efforts are underway to promote the method because the demand from the Muslim community is increasing. Lutfi exposes his son to the environment around the farm at an early age so that he would be more independent and not feel awkward. When there is enough knowledge, his confidence will increase. Lutfi's struggle all this while is for the sake of upholding Islamic teaching. It will be shouldered by all his children when they grow up. And with some Muslims, as I say, they don't really care about the organic. We have to teach them that that's part of halal, that it's important that the meat is natural. So yeah, we face some challenges, but alhamdulillah, we, we're surviving. Farming is a noble job.
<laughs> Even the prophets have done it and it has become the sunnah of Prophet Muhammad. This inspiration became the guideline for Lutfi to continue to succeed. No matter where they are, it is the responsibility of every human to prosper in Allah's land. Allah, the most gracious, gives great rewards to his servants who reads the Quran. The Quran is the complete constitution for every aspect of life. Lutfi always reads it as a spiritual meal and antidote to purify the soul. When he reads the Holy Quran, he feels as if he is in the presence of Allah. Other than that, by reading the Quran, it increases our strength in achieving success in this world and in the hereafter. Sheikh Ahmad Bullock, who is English, is the first Imam in Oxford. He is not just a customer, but he also has a close relationship with the Lutfi family. Right from the beginning, Sir Sheikh became the person for Lutfi to get advice and opinion on religion-related matters. Uh, I became uh, very close to the family and uh, ultimately before I went into the army uh, during the war, uh, I uh, converted uh, to Islam. Uh, I didn't practice Islam very rigidly or rigorously um, during my uh, five and a half years of military service, but uh, when I came out of uh, <coughs> the army, I uh, went to uh, SOAS, the School of Oriental and African Studies, uh, and did Arabic and uh, Persian. The livestock are selected from chosen breeds and are taken care of very well. In England, obviously as Muslims, we need to find good quality halal meat. And I think for much of the Muslim community, the original need was to find someone who could do the halal slaughter, the, the biha, so we could have halal meat. But what most Muslims forget to think about is in the Quran it says we should eat food which is halal and tayyibah uh, the two terms halal which means the the ritual slaughter but tayyibah means good quality um, wholesome natural a film <laughs> yeah. Joshua his second son is helping him full time at the farm so one of the jobs at our farm is collecting eggs. I'm happy to help out my dad, so today is my turn. <laughs> These chickens are organic. Organic means there's no chemicals in the food, no pesticides. The chickens themselves aren't given any antibiotics or hormones at all. So they're completely natural. A free-range bird is quite similar to that, but they're allowed to be given pesticides on their feed. The amount of range, as you can see, is quite a lot. They have to have as much as they can, really, to make it free-range or organic. We do both, organic eggs and free-range eggs. 
but our chickens are always free range. Organic standards though. Joshua supports his father's noble efforts in his struggle of the halal aspect. The eggs produced from the organic chicken has high food nutrition. It has beta carotene, protein and vitamins that are good for human body health. As recommended in the Al-Quran Surah Al-Maida verse 88 which means and eat what Allah has provided you lawful and pure and fear Allah in whom you believe. The Willowbrook Organic Farm also houses the workshop for the grading and packing of eggs. The grading of the eggs depends on the categories of the egg's weight and size. Normally an egg has a weight of between 50 to 70 gram. These eggs are marketed to East Oxford and Wolvercote in England. Business is a way of developing the religion and increasing the economy for the Muslim. It becomes a social responsibility and fulfills the claims of Fat Kifaya because it makes it easier for the Muslims to get the needs in life. Especially when the halal food products are offered to the Muslim. To ensure that the supplies of the halal products reaches the customers, Lutfi will deliver them himself. The products produced by the organic farm run by Lutfi has penetrated the supermarkets in southeast England. To fulfill the demands of around 9 million people with the production capacity that he has today, it is something impossible. This shows that the halal food products are not only for the Muslims, but also accepted by the non-